Green Bay Packer quarterback Brett Favre has fought battles on the football field for 17 years now, but those battles pale in comparison to the fight his wife Deanna faced in October 2004 when she learned she had breast cancer. Brett and Deanna reflected on her triumphant battle. When you come to these games, uh, is your heart in your stomach all the time wondering uh, what's going to happen? I'm a nervous wreck watching the whole game. So, uh, Brett, I'm sorry you uh, missed the game up here today. <laughs> it had to look pretty good, I guess. Yeah, it looked really good it up looked here. It looked good from where I was, I was standing. Yeah. Mm. Well, we cheeseheads are a pretty sophisticated group. You know, so... Right. You know. <laughs> right. Do you have a cheesehead? No. Do you, we do have a couple of cheeseheads. Do we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> Only Coach Ditka could become a four-headed monster and represent these teams' suffering fans. You know the best reason to own a bar? You get to control the remote control. Hey, man, how about putting that back on my Jets? I want to see how they're going to turn their season around. Hey, wake up. They're 0 2 for a reason. Hey, stop your whining. My Giants are 0 2. Hey, and I'll tell you something, we aren't getting any better soon. Hey, guys, it's a long season. Right, we're all going to turn it around. Drinks are on me. Who do you think you are? Chris Mornson? And the people of Naperville, Illinois, made it clear how much they missed her. I really like her. Hi, how are you? We love you, Gina. We think you did awesome. A lot of people? Hi. Ooh, ooh, I'm freaking out a little bit. Crusading law students could help spare his life after 17 years on death row. Sometimes you think, I don't even supposed to be living. Then sometimes you had the moments where you feel like you wish he was dead. Edgar A. Hope is a dead man walking. Convicted in 1983 of killing a security guard in this Illinois McDonald's, Hope spends 23 hours a day in his cell awaiting execution by lethal injection. ER, a TV Guide Award finalist, takes to the streets of Chicago as Doc Goran Vishnik sees a hit-and-run accident and is put in the center of controversy. The minus 20-degree temperatures made onlookers scarce. Right now, it's too cold for any fans, you know, to yeah. come there. Well, I'm simply hurrying from appointment to appointment or spending time in, this, in front of this computer screen. I feel very blessed to be able to do this work um, and, to, and to, to watch what happens to people when they have those moments of, oh my God. So let me just throw the forum open to you. What has happened for you on this trip? <laughs> <laughs>